All right, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to view a website that's being built on a server when your domain name is pointing to another server. Um, so typically a, a test site that's being built, or if you're moving over to a new host, uh, so you've started building it, uh, and you want to be able to send your client a link so that they can view it. Now, uh, host hosts.cx is what I used to use. I've been having issues with them for a while. So I found this other one, um, skip DNS, uh, that, that works fine. So the only thing you're going to need is the IP address of the new hosting company or wherever your website is being built. So you need the IP address and then the live URL. So let's, uh, let's grab one here. Okay. So we'll just paste in the IP address and then the URL. And I'm going to leave the port and HTTPS port the same, uh, just whatever the default is. And then just click on create. And now you can copy this link and then just send it to your client. So what's going to happen is it's going to expire. So, it, I mean, I've, I've seen as low as like 24 hours. So it's almost better to just provide the uh, these steps to your client. Um, so they can kind of come back to it a few days later if they can't review the site. Um, so that's why I'm making this video. Um, so anyway, we'll, uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll open this. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to open a new incognito. And we'll just click on the link here. Now it's going to bring up a terms page. So if you just scroll down to the very bottom and then just click on yes, proceed, uh, to this sort of temporary link that's been provided to me. So once we click on this, it'll take me to the test site that's being built. So this isn't the live site um, that the domain name is pointing to. This is just a test site that I'm working on. So you can go back and forth with your clients, um, work on changes, updates, all that stuff. So anyway, I hope that helped. Uh, SkipDNS is the site, uh, IP address, URL, a few simple steps.